I use this phrase, hearing the unspoken, to describe how, how you can really begin to assess where you're at in a transaction. Some people challenge me from time to time when I bring this up. But I'll tell you, if you really understand the process of a transaction and you understand all the different variables okay, that can happen, the different questions that a client might have, the different reports, the different paperwork, the, all the different facets of the deal. Remember what I talked about in the beginning about learning a thousand things? You're not going to hear the unspoken when you're a brand new agent. But when you really get to be a polished agent and very good at it, you're going to hear somebody skip over a step or try to not describe a portion of their life or the decision maker in it. And you're going to, if you're a really good agent, you're going to address it. You're going to say, hey, where's your wife today? I noticed she's not here and we're looking at a house. It's for the two of you. Or, um, you know, you say that you're paying cash, but you don't have proof of funds and you talk about how you don't use credit cards. Is there something here I should know? Or, you know, you keep talking about your job in the past tense. All of these things are unspoken qualities of a transaction that need to be addressed. Because if you don't learn your job so good that you can hear the gaps in the conversation, I'll guarantee you, you are going to increase the amount of times near the end of the transaction or the end of the showings or the end of whatever part of the process that you're in where the client says, wow, that's very interesting. You know, I'm going to take all these papers with me and I'm going to go think about it. Or, you know, thanks for your time. I don't know. I just, I can't make a decision. I'm going to have to think about it. The think about it objection from a client is the most difficult thing to overcome. And what it is usually is that you missed something earlier on in the process that needed a little greater depth of, of, of discovery that's done with it. And you missed it. Usually you flubbed somewhere along the way. So listen acutely to what's being said and what's not being said. And if you need to have a more senior agent or somebody who's been around in the while or just somebody to bounce it off, I hope you have somebody like that in your life and in your business so that you can say, hey, you know, we talked about this, we talked about that, and then it went this way here. You know, what do you think? Eventually, you'll become that person that people check things with. If you do this long enough and if you become good enough, I'll guarantee you will hear the unspoken. Thank you very much for your time. Please keep reading The Happy Realtor and watching DesertRealEstateChannel.com. My name's Eric Meeks. I'll see you in the videos. Thank you for watching The Desert Real Estate Channel. I hope you found these tips uh, interesting and enjoyable. Hope they help make you a better realtor and a better real estate buyer or seller. Please like or subscribe to these videos somewhere in the boxes below. And I'm Eric Meeks. If I can ever do anything for you personally, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you. Have a good day.